Multi-currency is, is obviously one of the most important and certainly most talked about topics in the industry today. You know, the, the position that we take at Televisa Univision is we do believe in a multi-currency future where we have multiple partners to help us measure, uh, also to help us plan, optimize across the entire sort of, uh, you know, media activation chain. You know, representation in media is really, really important. You know, when I first got to Televisa Univision, we spent a lot of time digging in with, with some of the traditional partners that I've worked with, you know, prior to joining Televisa Univision. And we actually found that, that there's pretty severe underrepresentation of, of U.S. Hispanics in most third-party data sets. You know, we had asked some of our big DMP partners, just tell us what percent of IDs you would classify as Hispanic. Forget how you classify them, we'll get to that later. The numbers we got back were, were really, really scary. 5%, 6%, 7%. And U.S. Hispanic population is pushing 20%, right? So that meant right out of the gate, anyone who's using that data to actually plan, you know, in the digital ecosystem, that, you know, they're severely undercounting and underrepresenting that audience. That was one piece. The other side is we've seen sort of the rise of set-top box data and ACR data and sort of linear currency, new, newer linear currencies. There are similar challenges there from a representation standpoint. You know, are they properly weighting and extrapolating that data based on language usage? Are they properly capturing over-the-air viewership, right? Set-top box data doesn't have over-the-air in it, so you need commingled data with ACR. So we've spent a lot of time digging in. We've announced a, a bunch of partnerships in the space with, with new measurement providers. And again, our stance is we do believe in multi-currency, but we really need those partners to roll up their sleeves, understand the importance of, multi of multicultural audiences so that they can properly reflect the entire U.S. population, especially U.S. Hispanic for us. So we're getting there. We're getting closer. We're, I think we're really excited about the path that we're on, but there's definitely more work to do. And uh, I was hoping you could tell us a bit more about all your platforms. You're on linear television and you're also on streaming, which I think is interesting because the Hispanic audience tends to skew younger and they're more tech savvy and have tended to be early adopters of mobile and other platforms. So what, what can you tell us about streaming, CTV, and, and everything else you have going on? Yeah. Television Univision is, in my opinion, one of the most organic cross-platform media companies in existence, right? We speak to every U.S. Hispanic every day across multiple screens, whether that's national television, local television, radio, digital audio, certainly we have lots of, of traditional web properties, and now through streaming and CTV. You know, when we, we recently launched our, our Spanish language streaming offering, it's VIX on the AVOT side, VIX Plus on the SVOT side. Uh, it's really, really exciting. We're seeing a ton of growth. And again, the challenge for us being so organically cross-platform, unlike other media companies who maybe have a portion of their audience who interact with them across digital properties and CTV properties, and maybe just their older SKU still interact with them in linear, we touch everybody across all those screens. So the opportunity for us and the opportunity for advertisers is as we connect with this audience and engage with them across all these endpoints, how do we smartly use data? How do we smartly use analytics so that we can better plan and optimize across? So a big part of our advanced audience, advanced advertising capabilities are really around multi-platform optimization and audience delivery across all those touch points, really anchored by VIX on, on the Avon side. And is there anything, uh, when you're talking to advertisers, is there any part of the story that you think is important for them to, to come away with? Uh, any, anything that may be a bit surprising or not, is, you don't think is getting told enough or often enough? Yeah. The, one of the really interesting things, and, and my boss, Don Especiali, talks about this a lot, there are still so many large national advertisers, really big blue chip brands, who don't advertise in Spanish language media. And they all have reasons. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, some better than others. But the reality is, you know, it, it's, it's almost been shocking to see that you have, again, some of these really big brands who, who haven't leaned in. And what we find is when they do lean in, it works, and it works really, really well. We've had to, I think, double down on how we use data and attribution and, and new ROI metrics to really prove that value. And we've seen a lot of success there. We've recently done a lot of work where we're actually taking attribution and ROI metrics and things that you typically see after a campaign, right, to prove that it worked, and pulling that to the, be you know, to the beginning of the process, where we can actually go out to some of these big advertisers and say to them, I get you have not historically seen the value here, but we can actually take the KPIs you care about most forecast them, optimize the schedule, and guarantee the results. And we've had a lot of success there, and we've been really excited with where that's going. 
That's great. Um, so now looking ahead, let's say the next six months to a year, is there anything that you expect to see or you'd like to see? Or is there anything you're worried about? Anything that keeps you up at night? Like what, what do you think about the outlook? I think we're really excited about just how leaned in we're starting to see everybody across the ecosystem into multicultural. And again, there's definitely still work to do, but we've seen it on the measurement side, right? As we've had a lot of these new currency players come up, most of them really, frankly, didn't realize just how underrepresented they were. They've all sort of come to us sort of open arms and said, hey, we're willing to work with you. Can you help us? Can you provide that expertise? And we've started to do that. So I feel really bullish about the multi-currency opportunity. I also feel really bullish, you know, as we've started to build out more and more advanced capabilities, some of these big national advertisers, you know, historically the ones who have not immediately seen the value of our audience, these new capabilities are really starting to shine a big light on that. And they're really starting to see the value and they're starting to see the impact on their bottom line.